Hello and welcome to the review of Nantucket by a picaresque studio and published by Fish Eagle. And uh, Nantucket is a it's kind of strategy game with very uh, like a board gamey feel, especially in the combat. And it's a bit of a like an adventure uh, and an RPG in in the world uh, of uh, of Moby Dick. So this game is all about whaling and uh, uh, as your end goal is to uh, slay the white devil the Moby Dick. So it draws a lot of inspiration and a lot of story from the from the actual story of the Moby Dick. And it's actually a really well put together game. And um, I was uh, kind of expecting this to be... When I first saw this game, I, I called it uh, the Wailing FTL. So if you've played the FTL game, uh, this game has a pretty similar like encounter system when you do things uh, on the world map. Uh, but the combat is of course very different. Uh, but uh, it, it's not really an FTL, it's because FTL is very uh, like a replayable with the story and uh, with the randomness and all that. Nantucket is not uh, actually a random, it's, it's pretty much a, a, a story that you once play through with the uh, kind of board gaming mechanics. Uh, and it's it's been really fun. Uh, it took me about 10 hours, but uh, I've heard uh, other people have played a bit faster through. Uh, I did a bit of grinding. Uh, uh, and uh, I kind of went around uh, every nook and corner to see uh, what was hiding there. But anyways, let's get into the game. I'll show you uh, a bit of the game. So we're not going to do a tutorial, because I'm going to be explaining it pretty much myself. And uh, you are playing Ishmael, basically. So if you if you know the story, you know who Ishmael is and all of that. But you can rename yourself. So I'm going to be Captain Belenar. And then you have four options. Uh, so this game has four classes. Uh, hunters, Sailors scientists and uh, crafters uh, hunters uh, are uh, for uh, for combat purposes of course sailing is a uh, well it makes your sailing faster and there is also uh, in in the combat they are used for uh, like uh, countering enemy attacks and stuff like that scientists are basically your healers in the combat and crafters uh, are mainly for uh, like crafting making money and also for rerolling uh, stats uh, or or sorry, rolls Dices in in combat. So we're gonna be a hunter uh, this time around, and you can choose a trait. So there are different traits you get uh, in the beginning of the game and also during the game. We'll be open-minded. Uh, actually, we'll be smart to get an extra attribute to get a bit more uh, hunting going. So let's play. And I'm gonna skip this uh, cutscene. So it's just uh, telling the story uh, how you're a uh, end up here uh, as the sea captain uh, or a captain of a whaling ship and uh, how your goal is to slay Moby Dick. So this is a uh, none to get. So it's one of the ports you can visit in the game and each port has uh, basically four things you can do. Some of them don't have the, all the options but uh, basically there's four options you can do in the ports and uh, one of them is uh, checking the newspaper which actually has all kinds of fun news uh, that uh, update uh, as the data goes by. So there's a, for example, a, a George uh, the Fourth uh, is the new king of United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. So it's kind of nice historical information in the newspapers here. But the main thing about the newspaper is uh, the jobs. So there's missions in this game that you can accept on top of the just going out and whaling uh, and all that. You can also do a, a ferry a cargo and all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, see what happened to a ship that uh, was supposed to go some some location and it uh, sank or something. Uh, but you always start with this uh, discover a new whaling area. There's also Bristol Sam, which is a, a unique sea creature, but you need a level of nine for that. And these give uh, give you money, and you can also get prestige, which uh, I will expand now. So moment, so the 16 days to go to here. We'll just accept this one. Then uh, to go to an, go to mission, we always need, uh, of course. Uh, Go to the general store. We need a uh, water, so we don't. Uh, well, you need water and food to survive. Basically, you also need grog to keep your people happy, and then uh, firewood is also nice to have, uh, so you don't freeze to death. So we'll buy like hundred days worth uh, for now. Actually, let's uh, get crew first. That actually might be a good idea. So let's go here in the tavern. So here uh, you have an option to hire uh, people. This is you on the side. You have four prestige, thousand monies, and you get hundred percent of the whale currently. And uh, 
prestige affects like how high level and how many people you can hire. This current uh, ship uh, we have has uh, three active slots. Uh, bigger ships uh, have uh, up to max uh, ten slots for people, and we have currently zero out of four prestige used. So we can hire up to four uh, levels of guys. There's a uh, cabin boys, which are basically level zeros that you can uh, then level up into different classes. Uh, but then you have the classes here. So we have a uh, hunters, we have a uh, sailors, we have a uh, the crafters, and we have the scientists. So I'm gonna grab a. Uh, a, a hunter. I guess we could get B Benny. There's a uh, subclasses to each uh, class as well. So uh, you can see the icons here are differing. So hunter is just a hunter with this uh, hunting icon, but he's a uh, man at arms which is focused on uh, fighting uh, uh, other humans. So you can also fight pirates, uh, Inuits, just uh, Indians, and all kinds of. Uh, other human uh, enemies in this game, not just whaling. So, uh, man at arms is really good for that. But uh, then there's uh, the actual hunter that would be really good for uh, hunting. And there's a survivor as well, which uh, has like a high health stat and su such. Uh, so it's kind of like a tanky character for your hunting. Same thing on all of these others so uh, as well. But yeah, let's just get a. Uh, we have three slots, so I'm gonna get Benny, and I'm gonna get uh, also a healer, Walter, into our boat. So four out of four used now. We can't get the last guy. We could get, uh, I guess, a, uh, a cabin boy. They also have different stats, as you can see. So this is sickly, which is actually really bad. <laughs> They're both sickly. Great choices, Bell. Great choice. So we'll grab uh, a gourmet cabin boy in there. He's going to be cooking for us, Raymond. So now that we have a, a crew together, uh, we can now buy that food, because we need a bit more since we have a bigger crew. So there, 100 days or so, cost us a, a bit of money. And then we go here, this is uh, your available ships, so you can upgrade the ship. We currently have Melville, the Rotten Sloop, which uh, is very small dinghy with one whaling uh, boat. You can see here a uh, size small, one whaling boat, max creep 3, etc. And then you can uh, make bigger ships. There's basically small, medium, large ships, which uh, is a uh, 1, 2, 3 whale boats. And then there's uh, a bit of uh, differing stats with speed, HP, and cargo. But there's not really that much difference in the ships, uh, uh, to be honest. Uh, it's not like a game changingly different it's a uh, just a bit more uh, speed or a bit more more cargo is, is the choice basically do you want to carry more shit or not <laughs> or do you want to go fast and i was hoping this would uh be a bit more uh gameplay changing uh than it is uh so that there was would be a bit more replayable in the game but there really is not that uh, with the boats or with the characters because uh you only have the three choices there's obvious choices you want to make uh, for different purposes. So it's not like you can uh, randomly build. A, there's no randomness or anything in the character building. So it's always the same, basically. And you just choose, do I want this option A, B, or C? Even though the A might be always the best option. And it's very clear that it's the, always the best option. So there's not much uh, randomness in there at all. And I hope that there would have been. The same with the ship then technologies. So these are just upgrades for our ship. And uh, as, you, as you unlock these, they permanently stay on you. So even if you change a ship, these uh, ship uh, upgrades uh, also move uh, to the new ship. Uh, the only thing about this is that uh, you need uh, specific skills. So for example, this is a sailor skill uh, that we need uh, to be able to make a captain's cabin. So you need to hire a guy who has this skill to be able to upgrade these. But uh, again, it's just a, a choice in which order you want to do that. And it's, it doesn't really affect that much. In, in the grand scheme of thing of the gameplay. It's not like it uh, add, changed it so much that you would do another run, basically. But currently, uh, let's just uh, upgrade our harpoons. There. Because that's uh, more base damage. And let's go uh, sailing. So you prepare in a, in a, a port uh, for your sailing trip, depending on what, on what you want to do. Uh, which for us is uh, to go get the new whaling area. And uh, if you're going for a uh, whaling, you might want to get some uh, 
a lot of space in your cargo, so you're gonna pull back a lot of uh, blubber and meat. But if you are going for uh, humans, you might want have a different uh, option. If you are doing missions, you might wanna get a lot more uh, uh, re resources if you are sailing, for example, all the way like here on the other side of the Americas. So this is the world map. So here's the map of the game. As you can see, uh, it's mostly the Europe, uh, the western side of Africa here. You do go to Madagascar sometimes as well, then the, the Americas here. And on the map here you can see, so this is our uh, current destination, whereas the Discover Whaling Area, our mission, you can actually see it down here as well. So our main quest uh, is to get prestige currently, and this is our uh, current uh, minor quest, so we need to go here. And uh, on the map you can see like Nantucket is the starting location, this is our ship. There's other place, places in here as well, like Horta, Peterhead, uh, there's Ibituba, Cape Town, uh, and then uh, Kororake, Kororareka, <laughs> sorry, and Honolulu that you can visit in here. And sometimes there's also random missions that pop up around the world uh, for you to do, which are shown the same way as the whaling mission here. And also on the map you can see like the arrows here, which are the prevailing winds, winds filter. So you can see where that you should probably sail this way and not against this. And uh, these are fairly real life re represented. There's also down here the wind direction uh, where the wind is blowing. Uh, and there's also weather, uh, there's a perilous uh, seabed and there's different kinds of things you can encounter. In here, there's also, also pirates sometimes. There doesn't seem to be any pirates around currently yet. Uh, they have a like skull in that area, and then a boat uh, that will attack you, and uh, things like that. There's also, well, actually, let me show you. Let's go for here. So I'm gonna click here, and we're gonna sail there. You can also see your information here. Currently, we have a, a windward sailing, so we're going fast. Our speed, our uh, hull points, our uh, Average morale and then uh, our cargo info is in there. We'll just unpause and start sailing there. So we're gonna sail, sail away in there, and you get these random pop-ups. So if you've played a FTL, for example, this kind of random pop-ups uh, while going to places is very similar. And then you have changes when you want to do things, and uh, these are big meat of the game. So these random events popping up, uh, especially how you deal with your uh, own crew and. Uh, get upgrades and things like that uh, and uh, also when you're doing missions you get choices so there's a guy who is uh, unable to get used to sea life which is our hunter who is sickly so we can get uh, the sickly removed uh, or I can get sickly which I might not want to because uh, we might have two sickly guys so I'm just gonna let him be there's also speed down here so you can post game you're gonna one time speed or three times speed, engage to turbo mode. And then we see a whale. Fina hoy. Could be a precious whale. It could be also a shark. <laughs> Which is not so precious whale and it can be super dangerous. But in this area, it's uh, at least early on especially, it's a, a narwhal. So you can lower your whale boat and hunt your... Uh, Lead the hunt yourself. You can send your men so you don't uh, risk losing yourself. If you uh, die yourself, uh, it's basically game over. But this game can be played uh, so that uh, you can save and load and etc. And, and I can highly recommend uh, doing that, especially uh, if you're not super used to like strategic uh, games, because uh, sometimes this game can screw you over. And there is a lot of randomness on the dice rolls, and it can just uh, if you go to the wrong place. With wrong setup, you will die basically, and sometimes even with right setup, uh, you will die just to a uh, very unlucky rolls. So saving uh, is is definitely advisable in this game, but you can also play it in Iron Man mode. So if you fail, you fail, <laughs> and then you run. Uh, you can also ignore the whale, but we're gonna attack the whale. So we prepare for the hunt creature encounter here. So this is the combat of the game. So we have this. Uh, Water area here, and we have uh, one whale boat currently, and we would get uh, two more, max two more, so three uh, in a bigger boat. And then uh, you can fit three guys in your boat, so I'm gonna assign myself, uh, Benny and Walter, we're gonna be in one boat. And each boat has uh, one action, so let's uh, start the combat. So it's a newborn narwhal, 3 HP, 
and uh, there is random conditions so deep water is mirage one of my guys benny got stunned so he can't do anything this turn uh and you can see what the uh, whales or uh, your uh, opponents are doing so the narwhal is attacking our boat this boat so you can if you had more boats you could see that it's gonna attack here or here and what's it can do sometimes there is also random condition that shows actually the, what the action is not just uh, where it is going and uh, then it's my turn to roll so let's roll some dice so you roll for each guy except of course he's a uh, stunned so nothing for him we landed here so no ability so these are the abilities that you can do which uh, is for him heal 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 and for me it's uh, strike 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 uh, i landed here he landed there and we can do only one action per boat so even though if he had a uh, rolled a uh, first aid and have we had the option of strike or first aid we could only choose one of them there is a uh, certain things that allow you to do more uh, but generally it's just one attack per whaling boat and uh, in the beginning it's very limiting but uh, when especially when you get the second uh, whaling boat and when you get the third whaling boat the game kind of opens up and becomes a lot more strategic in that sense so it's a bit of a grind in the beginning you grind uh, especially these narwhals to get some money to get the next boat and then uh, the game opens up from there so we got a strike he has 3 hp so we're gonna strike the narwhal and that's a dead whale and uh, after a combat you get loot so we get prestige for myself which uh, allows me to get more people in into the boat and higher level guys in the boat uh, and they got morale from the kills uh, also if they level up then become higher level then their moral uh, their prestige cost, cost becomes higher as well so sometimes uh, you might have a situation where you actually are kind of on the negative prestige when hiring new people because you have high level guys but not prestige uh, had that happen a couple times in my run we got the uh, two blubber which is for a sale uh, and then we got uh, one food from the whale as well you can get all of these depending on what you are fighting oil uh, comes from the blubber when you can process the blubber into oil but in the early boats uh, you do not have that option so you just sell the sell the blubber as is so this location uh, now shows uh, we, we found this out uh, that there is a whale mating area here so whales come here between december and march uh, and it's a high chance to encounter a narwhal during that time and it's only active during that time so uh, you find these uh, mating areas you also find migration areas uh, or routes uh, for the whales uh, that are active only certain times of the year so you kind of have to plan around uh, the time of the year for example here is january currently uh, where you want to go if you're hunting whales and there's a lot of uh, these uh, mating grounds feeding grounds uh, migration routes all around uh, the map here so it might uh, in the beginning especially uh, feel like well there's not much on the map but again i can tell that there is for example in this area there is a lot of stuff in here i was surprised how much uh, in the end there was a because you don't encounter these unless there is a season for it so if you are off season and traveling like through here you will never encounter them if you're there in the wrong time so we got a, another encounter this is for the quest so we had to uh, attack the whale windy conditions and we'll use the same uh, last used uh, setup as last time and it's a narwhal so there's a narwhal uh, in the beginning here and it's a good idea to uh, just hunt narwhals early on because they're fairly easy they just wound you give you a bleed which uh, you can heal up with a first aid and there we go another narwhal in the back so now our quest is done and we're gonna return for a reward in nantuket or we can use uh, these uh, whaling areas so this one is actually inactive uh, currently but the quest uh, revealed it to us this one is the actually active one and there's more uh, more of them uh, around uh, in this area that you might want to do and we should have probably actually go in the mating area here until the march and just hunt uh, as much we can fit into the cargo holder and then i'll uh, unload uh, them into into nantuket let me just uh, sail around here uh, and show a few things uh, like let's go uh, to horta here we are a bit late because of the wind conditions are slowing us down so we'll just take a check out the uh, horta here which is another uh, location uh, 
another harbor we can visit. And uh, as I showed the, the upgrades uh, in the nun to get, so there we go. So we'll sell uh, sell our blubber and our oil. We get total of 108. I get uh, this much money, and the crew gets a uh, cut of that, which uh, you can uh, see that uh, I'm getting 90% of the whale, and they get the bit of the tail only. And uh, the more you get higher level guys, the bigger this cost gets. Uh, and uh, in the end, uh, you only get like a small portion when you get a big crew. But at that point, you uh, are kind of swimming in money anyways. So upgrades. Uh, uh, this port actually doesn't have an upgrade. You can only buy ships in here. But certain uh, ports uh, uh, allow you to uh, do upgrades, like none to get. But there's other ports also that allow. And it's uh, one upgrade per port. So you can upgrade multiple things in different ports. And then you just need to go around and pick them up uh, as you go. So having like a route to go around uh, to so that you have a... Uh, an upgrade going uh, on each location is kind of important because uh, at least for me I fairly quickly got money because I killed a, a bunch of whales and then I got a, a lot of money I bought a new boat I killed more more whales and I didn't go really go upgrade uh, that much I, I, I did do some of course but it felt for me that uh, I got the best boat and all the monies but I was just waiting for upgrades to roll so let's go for example beaterhead here which uh, has an upgrade potential. And I should have done that uh, a lot more earlier than I did, uh, I feel. Uh, because uh, I was still, uh, even uh, when I finished the game, I was very much dragging behind uh, on the uh, upgrades. Even though I felt that they were not so needed, to be honest. I was uh, fairly powerful. There was also a, a perilous seabed there, as you can see in the middle. Which can uh, cause you some uh, trouble. There's also ice barracks. And I said uh, those storms and uh, perilous seas and uh, all kinds of uh, weather effects that can uh, affect you. So here we are in uh, in the good old uh, UK in Peterhead, which is another uh, one of these harbors. So you also get uh, jobs in each location. Like here, I deliver goods to uh, uh, New Zealand. Uh, you need 50 space and you get experience and money for that. It's kind of far away. And there's Satoma, Joshua. Uh, you another unique uh, creature to kill. Level 9 though, so can't take it. And you can have uh, two chops per uh, location, uh, so it's a good idea to just go around and stack those as well. But here you can uh, get another upgrade. So we can see that uh, the harpoons are currently in progress, and we could uh, upgrade, uh, for example, this here. So now we have two being worked at the same time, and it's a, it's a really good uh, thing to do. Alright, so this is basically the game you just go around hunting whales doing missions upgrading things getting uh, better boats completing your main mission uh, and uh, getting closer and closer to, to hunting the moby dick eventually until you uh, actually go and hunt the moby dick and uh, it's a very very fun game also it's kind of hard to show because they're, they're random but there is a, a lot of uh, like a uh, sea shanties kind of these songs that play during the gameplay and they only play during this uh when you're on this map, they kind of randomly come and go. There's a bunch of different ones, and they're really fun to listen. And uh, while they're a, a great addition to the game, it's also one of my biggest complaints about this game, because uh, they only play on this uh, map. And usually when you're traveling uh, or doing something, like I'm going here, a song starts to play, uh, I get to listen to like, a, say, 10 seconds of the song or something, Well, uh, however, long it takes for me to go to my location, then I go to a port, I go to a combat, I go to a mission, the song ends. Uh, and I would have loved to listen more to that song. So I kind of have to pause my gameplay, there's a storm, uh, by the way, uh, just to listen to the song and just wait here uh, till something happens. Uh, nice. So uh, one of my uh, crew members is giving me a quest to visit uh, Raymond's home. So Raymond lives uh, uh, down here, I guess that's New York or something, somewhere around, I don't know, <laughs> it's, it's it's in North America there, but anyways, uh, Raymond's uh, personal quest is there, and uh, doing these uh, can give you a pretty good boost on uh, your uh, crew members, so it's a good idea, idea to do that. Let's see, uh, this is inactive currently, and this one is also inactive currently, so we can't really whale on either of those. Uh, let me do a quick load. I'm, I'm going to show you a, a bit uh, further 
or quite a lot of further gameplay here. So let me just load up uh, one of my older saves here. And uh, if you don't want any spoilers, it might be a good time to pop out for, uh, for a few minutes. Uh, but I can recommend getting this game. Uh, but if you don't care, uh, I don't. I'm not gonna show any story parts or anything uh, in this. Uh, I'm just gonna show you a bit of a higher level combat. So down here. So there is a, for example, pirates here now. There's also a lot of whaling areas in here. Can we find an active one though? There. Just go up here. So let's uh, let's pop there. And uh, I have a much, much bigger ship with a lot of crew in here. Let me actually pause. I didn't show this part. So in the ship you can uh, assign guys to different uh, roles. Uh, for example here uh, is the crow's nest which gives you field of vision. Uh, so I have a pre pretty big field of vision around this area. Uh, so if you put a guy in there who's good at that, so sailors, you get better vision. Uh, there's also different roles like the uh, sick bay. Uh, the dry works which turns the oil into blubber, so having a craftsman there is really good. Having a captain uh, or a sailor in the uh, in the quarter deck is a really good idea, and uh, so on and so on. If there's a cook uh, character, so assigning proper persons on proper locations is really good and really important here. They also have their stats and information here, their skills. They can also have objects, so. Uh, you can give them items uh, that will boost uh, or uh, affect their uh, combat abilities, their uh, working abilities here, etc. You can also yourself have an item uh, which boosts uh, that as well. And multiple skills. So, let me just sail away and see if we can find uh, find some uh, whales. So we'll just uh, park here and... We'll move a bit further and there's an option here to hunt whales so you just uh, stop here and there's search for whales just skip those come on whales and you just have to wait uh, and hope uh, that migration route just ended great <laughs> let's try let's try a different one. Oh, there's actually one here as well Seems uh, the whales uh, don't want to play with me today. I am. There we go. I am going to find this whale. It's my own personal Moby Dick, it seems. There we go. Targy blows. So there's uh, another uh, a bit higher level of combat. So we have a lot more people. We can ascend the boats. I'm just going to use my last, uh, last use. So you can see that there's a lot of people now. Uh, in this, uh, and it's a bit of a old killer whales. So this is a, this is a immediately much more uh, dangerous uh, because you have three more enemies or three enemies instead of one. They have le learning path, so they do uh, already plus fifty damage to someone who's been attacked already. But you also have three actions yourself. So let's just roll. So a lot more rolls. One of them is stunned, so he can't do anything. So the blue. Blue one here is attacking this boat. These guys are buffing themselves, so they're very likely just uh, diving into the sea, immersing. So we're gonna throw a fast end on on him. So throw a rope and a bleed. So this uh, prevents uh, them from uh, going underwater. Although sometimes uh, they have the ability to break the rope, which is uh, kind of rough. And we'll just uh, hit this other killer whale here. And having a, a big boats like this uh, so he actually snapped uh, so this is snap and immerse so immerse uh, is kind of like stealth so you can't target them while they're in the in the water so having uh, multiple boats like this uh, you have uh, a lot of roles you can do and I like having like this combo of uh, a healer uh, uh, a fighter and uh, a damage preventation so for example this uh, confusing maneuver Let's see if we can get actually one well, we got a confusing maneuver and evasive maneuver. So evasive maneuver just uh, counters uh, an attack from uh, one of these. So for example, we can uh, prevent the green whale from doing anything. There's also the confusing maneuver, which will prevent and uh, stun the whale, which we could do. But I think we could just uh, kill the whale instead. 
so it doesn't do anything to us. And then uh, then we can actually uh, can't actually attack her, so I should have prevented an attack from there. And we're getting bite and a bleed, although I have bleed resistance uh, thanks to the doctor. And the whales are also bleeding from my hunters. So you get a lot more uh, strategy out of this uh, in the later game when you have multiple boats. You can't use first aid uh, or any of the healing abilities, so you can only use it in, in this boat. Same with the reroll skills and also with the protective ones, so you can't really help the other boats except with these uh, preventive uh, maneuvers. Uh, so everyone else is kind of on their own, and you just kind of have to keep them alive. Especially if you don't have a healer, it's really annoying uh, because uh, well, the boat is just taking damage and your other boat is like, well, I have a healer here but I can't help. So, sorry. <laughs> you can also retreat uh, if, uh, if you want. Uh, so if things look hairy, you can always uh, run away. You do lose uh, prestige from running away, so that's kind of bad. Uh, but sometimes very advisable, especially against like uh, early big packs of uh, angry killer whales or uh, great white sharks or something like that. Or fighting uh, pirates or humans. Uh, humans are really dangerous, uh, much more dangerous than uh, whales uh, in most cases. Uh, it's very advisable to avoid fighting humans because of that. Uh, but losing uh, losing people is, uh, is not that bad because it's fairly easy to hire high level guys. And as I said, there's no really uh, any kind of character building for them. So it's like pick three, one of these three flavors of hunters. Do you want survivor, do you want a uh, man at arms, or do you want a, hunt, uh, a hunting guy? So it's like pick one of these three, he will always have the same skills. Maybe a couple of different traits, but the traits don't really affect that much, to be honest. So we got a bunch of blubber, a lot of value out of those, and then uh, lots of food. But that's basically none to get. So I can highly recommend this, even though it doesn't have really replayability with what I was uh, kind of looking forward to, to having from this game, kind of wailing FTL, but it wasn't the FTL at all <laughs> that I was looking. Instead, it's a uh, this kind of board gamey, uh, Moby Dick flavored uh, a story that you play through, uh, with some uh, like a board gamey strategy for hunting and all that. It's a, it's really good, I can highly recommend it, uh, but just know that there is no much replayability in this game, sadly. Even though I, it would have been really nice to have that. <laughs> but still, uh, definitely worth picking up, especially on a sale or something. But uh, anyways, uh, that's my review of the None to Get. Uh, by Picaresque uh, Studio and Fish Eagle published it. And uh, if you like this review, check out the other reviews, Let's Plays, and all the other uh, content on the YouTube channel. And check out the live stream on uh, Nar.tv or uh, Bellanara. I'm uh, sorry, <laughs> Twitch.tv slash Bellanara, uh, where I play games like this, other strategy, management, uh, building games, <laughs> and uh, a bunch of more every now and then as well. So. Anyways, thank you for watching this, and I'll see you guys next time. So, bye-bye.